when people meet you, they have an assumed uh, perception of you, whether it's positive or negative. And the, it doesn't matter what perception they have of you. People always unconsciously try to test whether or not their perception of you is correct. And how do they do that? By testing you, right? They test your strength. And depending on the signals that you send out, it's how people are going to test you. If they believe, so if, if, if every single time you're in, interacting with people, you're always sending people signals, signals of strength or weaknesses, right? And so people then through your nonverbal cues have build up a perception of you through one, how you look, two, your clothes and your dormants, three, the people that you know, and four, to your nonverbals, right? You give them an impression of you. And so the only way for people to confirm about who you are is to test you. That's all people do. They test you. And the way that they test you is pretty much subtle and unconscious. And in fact, even they're not aware of that they're testing you. The thing is, is that this is part of human nature. And what drives this is aggression, right? People want, at the core of all of it, people want a partner. If you're healthy, you want a partner with a strong mentality. Manipulators, narcissists, want somebody with a weak mentality. But the thing is, I the good partner and the bad partner, they're both going to test you. It's just, what they do with the results is pretty much the difference, right? So strong and mentally healthy people are in control of their aggressive energy, right? So you, everyone has an aggressive energy. Why? Because as children, you notice that children are always trying to transform their environment. Children, if you don't attend to them, will always get into trouble, always um, go towards that little place that looks interesting. Children have this aggressive energy and you as parents try to control it. What happens is that some kids are, are not allowed to be adventurous enough. Their parents are too risk averse. And so their aggressive energy gets tamped and, and disencouraged and punished. And so a lot of people with, with parents who are too controlling, with parents who shame their aggressive energy, a lot of people grow up with a tamped aggressive energy. And what does that do? Well, it turns inward. This aggressive energy turns inward. You become mentally weak. You learn to not control your emotions, right? And the reason why that is, is because expressing your aggressive energy was punished as a result. It just, it, it was punished. Your aggressive energy might be too dangerous. Your aggressive energy might be too disruptive. Or you are a girl, you can't be too aggressive. Or nowadays, you are a man. You, that's toxic masculinity. And so as a result, what tends to happen is kind of surprising. The aggressive energy turns inward. And so you become shy, right? You become hedonistic because understand, aggressive energy is also creative energy, right? Aggressive energy is goes to it uses your dopamine system, right? Your 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 reward and punishment system. You know, your reward system. And so your reward system has two directions where you learn to find pleasure in long-term goals or you learn to find pleasure in short-term goals, which is hedonistic, quick gratification types of things, right? Which usually leads to not, not having self-control, usually leads to a lot of promiscuity, usually leads to a lot of deception, it leads to lower morale, lower morality, it, need, it leads to neediness, it leads to narcissism, it leads to being too overly empathetic, being too nice, being too naive. It, this aggressive energy is something that also looks from the outside in, looks shy, it looks timid. You don't want to stand up to yourself. You don't want to stand up towards people who are being aggressive towards you. Why? Because this aggressive energy has become suppressed. You you were told, don't do that. Don't stand up for yourself. Don't be too aggressive. Don't be don't don't be too competitive. Don't be too ambitious. So that aggressive energy, you get shy, you feel bad, and so it turns inward. Right? You get more shy, you get more in this shyness over time, this lack of aggressive energy, you start to resent your life because you're not taking action. You start to look back at your life and see how much you you wasted it. And sometimes you might turn to drugs. Sometimes you might turn to quick, quick uplifts in power, quick uplifts in, in money, which means trying to get quick money, quick power, which leads to corruption, committing crime, right? Or controlling your partners, being abusive or being the one who's abused. Why? Because like I said, when you turn the aggressive energy inward, 
it turns into shyness it turns into weakness it turns into fear right because you because you everything around you looks too strong you have not embraced that aggressive energy so everything around you looks just too big for you too powerful right the world looks more complicated and more chaotic and that turns into fear and that fear is smelled by people who are overly aggressive why because you're going to be communicating that fear in your nonverbal cues the two emotions that show the most is happiness and fear those emotions are very, especially fear, it's very hard to hide. Why? Because, for example, a smile, you could, you could, you could notice a smile a lot quicker from, from further distance than any emotion. But I also believe that fear is something that people can sense non-verbally. Right. So by suppressing your aggressive energy, you turn inward, hedonistic, no self-control, more emotional outbursts, more neediness, more the or more desire to control your partners, more behavior that pushes your partner away and more behavior that attracts negativity. So what you got to do, you got to harness that aggressive energy, right? Because life has an aggressive energy, right? Everything in life is aggressive, right? When, when a seed is planted, it grows. So this, this energy has an upward aggressive ag aggression. If you leave it alone, it'll keep growing. And if it grows too much, it could turn parasitic. But the point is, life has an aggressive energy towards promoting itself. It wants to survive, right? People unconsciously want a person who's strong, a person, strong person who have control over their aggression, which always leads to success, right? So when you use your aggressive energy positively, right, what tends to happen is that you become more ambitious, right? You use that aggressive energy to defend yourself against people who are aggressors. You become less, you, you are a little bit more difficult to deal with because you know what you want and you won't compromise it, right? And, and, and what would happen is that when, everybody, when anytime somebody tries to control you, anybody, anytime somebody tries to exploit you, exploit your niceness, you're going to turn aggression and that aggressive energy because you're conscious of it because you're using it will turn against them and it'll prove to them that you're not as weak as they thought you were. And that will turn into respect and they'll treat you a lot more differently, right? And the problem is, is that a lot of these, a lot of people, this is something that I do talk about in my upcoming course, um, The Feminine Woman. A lot of people think that niceness always gets people to become nice. No, it doesn't. The only time people respond to niceness, to your niceness, to your uh, passivity is when they feel like it, it's to their advantage. It's when they feel like being nice gets something out of you. But most of the time, Almost every time, niceness by a law of nature does not produce more niceness in other people. In fact, it turns them more aggressive towards you. In fact, it invigorates them. What you have to be, you have to be a little bit more difficult to deal with, a little bit less compromising if you're too nice, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more defensive when somebody's trying to take advantage or use you, when somebody's trying to treat you like you're dumber than you really are. Like too many of us let other people hit us and hurt us and we just, lower our heads and take it we don't speak up we don't have those uncomfortable conversations and the relationships turns exploitive and you are always and your relationships never feel satisfying you can't do that you're hurting yourself what you got to be able to do is get a hold of that aggressive energy so how do you do that well you got to get angry think about all the times people took advantage of you Think about all the times people made you feel dumb, made you feel stupid, made you feel less than, and believe that you could, that that you could use that anger to propel you to never let that happen ever, ever again. It's almost like the equivalent of rock bottom, where you use all of your negative experiences to concentrate it, in, by you concentrate on that, that that energy. By thinking about all of the time people took advantage of you, all of the time you you let people lie to you, deceive you, and you let that energy become in one point and use that energy, that anger, to say no more of that. That's not going to happen anymore. I'm done with that. Aggressive energy is what you need to change your life. For example, the Buddha, when he was meditating, he said he was not going to get up until he became enlightened. It, he used aggressive energy to become enlightened. It is the aggressive energy that, that I used to start my YouTube channel. And I said, I am not going to stop until I grow my YouTube channel. I, this is the only thing that I'm going to do. And I was so persistent. I was hitting that tree so hard, so consistently. And I never stopped until that tree came down. 
concentrate this aggressive energy. Stop suppressing it. Stop acting like nothing bad is happening. Stop acting like people are not really hurting you. Stop acting like like you're, you're, you're not part of the cause of why people take advantage of you. And stop feeling victim that you don't get the person that you want, that people don't like you. Stop being the victim. Realize the mistakes that you're making. Watch the videos that I'm doing and use your past failure and say, you know what? Every time I, I don't do what Father Alex says, I always fail. Just think about all of those moments. All of those moments in your past when you could have done the right thing and you didn't because you were just too afraid to suffer the consequences. Think about all of those moments so that you can concentrate that energy and make a decision and say, you know what? I'm not doing that no more. So how do you so remember? You have aggressive energy. You're just not aware of it. And in order to pass the test that people are going to show you, that people are going to do to you, because they might think you're weak, you need to have a surplus aggressive energy. And it's not that you don't have it, you're just not conscious of it, you're suppressing it. So think about all of it, like for example, for me, right? Um, like when I was younger, this this channel is pretty much the story of my life, right? And I got, I always got played and I was always a loser pretty much, right? In terms of, you know, dating. And I got tired of it. And I said to myself, look, I am afraid of taking action. I am afraid of fixing my dating life because it's going to take a lot of rejection. It's, it's going to take a lot of pain. But the thing is, is that if I get in touch with that energy, that rejection, that pain, because that really is aggressive energy because it turns against me and it stops me from taking action, that is aggressive. If I just get in touch with that and just think about all of the times that I got played, all of the times that I didn't get this, that I didn't get that, and I allow that to become anger and frustration. I just say, you know what? I say, I feel that, and then I say, okay, now that I'm in the state of anger, now that I'm truly feeling the weight of all the bullshit that I let people do to me, now I'm going to use this energy to take action, to change my life, to be improve on myself, to get in better shape, to eat better, to improve on my career right um to be to become more of a leader someone who initiates and that aggressive energy i pretty much just transferred it from my shame guilt resentment and i believed in myself and that an energy that propels me to improve on myself and rather than looking for short quick fixes to suppress my feelings through drugs alcohol valid um, quick validations i rather get a taste for for getting the validation of long-term goals of suffering today to be happy tomorrow of i'm gonna leave you today because i know that you're not good for me but i'm gonna find but i will eventually find somebody else having that confidence of being able to suffer today for the future which develops patience it, it, that literally changes everything about you right because and again, this is actually my course, not the natural of the feminine woman. And this is honestly, I'm also going to make this in a course for men called the masculine man. We'll talk about this, but everything about you is aggressive. Everything about your your personality is 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 aggressive energy because you 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 are life. And a lot of us are not growing because this aggressive energy is not being released because we are just of we are afraid of failure. We are afraid of challenges. You gotta understand your aggressive aggressive energy is meant for challenges. It's meant to be put to the test. Your aggressive energy is almost like your spiritual body. And too many of us are not using it. We're too passive. We're too we we're too lazy. Um, we are afraid of pain. We don't we don't have a positive connection to pain. We have a negative association to pain. We don't see pain as a growth. We see pain as a as a as, as something in the moment that we don't want. And what you have to understand is that your aggressive energy will get alive and turned on when you encounter a, a challenge an enemy and you resolve to overcome it for example me i i remember a few years ago i was i was in debt right and i i wasn't realizing how much money i was spending and i was actually like not i was actually like not i was avoiding looking at my bank account Long story short, I accidentally looked at my bank account and I was like, holy fuck, the reality hit me. I've been trying to avoid that fear, that reality, but it hit me like a ton of brick. And it made me afraid and it made me realize that I have to change my life. And that fear turned into aggressive energy. And I began saving more money. I began being, I began being more diligent. But why was it? Because I, be, I became in touch with my, I suppressed certain emotions because of fear of th that reality. 
I was afraid of the, the, but once I faced my, once I realized where I was, once I faced my challenges, once I faced my fears, then I turned more aggressive. I said, you know what? Let me fix that. Let me overcome that. If you look at your challenges with fear, again, your aggressive energy will turn you into a more fearful person. Everyone's going to look more intimidating. You're going to send more signs of weaknesses and they're going to test you even more because you're sending signs of weakness. By them testing you, you're going to succumb even further to the attacks. You're going to confirm their self -opin their opinion of you. You're going to feel more fear and they're going to look greater. And a lot of the times we tend to have aggression in other areas of life. But you got to allow the aggressive energy to course in every part of your life. Sometimes we have positive aggressive energy towards our careers, but our dating life is not aggressive. We're not aggressive enough with our dating life. So you have someone who's, who's powerful in life but weak in their, in their personal life and vice versa. Aggressive energy is your life force. You have to allow it to flow in every area of your life. But in dating specifically, we're going to talk about how to, how to redirect that energy into every area of our life in, in my upcoming course. But in this life, in the dating life, you have to be aggressive. This passive Oh, I'm a nice girl. Oh, 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 that. Oh, I'm a nice guy. Or, 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 you know, I'm a simp and that kind of stuff. That will always get you in trouble. Timidity will get you into more exploitive relationships than boldness and aggression. Now, aggression does not mean abusing people. Aggression means knowing what you want, not compromising for it, and being willing to walk away. That's the aggression that I'm talking about. And you can cultivate that aggression through one, you could start having a meditative practice. Because like I said, when you don't control your aggressive energy, you become shy, hedonistic, no self-control, no control over your emotion, more emotional outbursts, more neediness, and more self-hatred. That usually is associated with lack of prefrontal cortex um, um, function, right? Lower prefrontal cortex function. Meditation focuses on prefrontal cortex function. So it, so what, the, what meditation does is that it'll... Re, it'll show you how to use and redirect that aggressive energy because meditation is, is usually all about aggressive energy. You're saying, I'm going to sit down for this amount of time and I am not going to get up. That is aggressive energy. That is focused aggressive energy. So have a goal in mind. How do you want to be treated? And don't accept any less than that. I can promise you, if you just imagine how you want to be treated, what are the things that you're willing to, not ex you're willing to accept and not accept, and you hold on to it without any compromise, that will literally change everything about you. I'm t I am telling you, there's going to be a, an uncompromising sen sensation out of you. It's just how it's going to be. You know, it's almost like, like, like it's like going into a, into a negotiation and having nothing to lose. You know, like being willing to walk away from the negotiation will always give you more leverage than having more leverage in a way. I'm telling you, man, never fight someone who's willing to die you become the most dangerous person when you become uncompromising, when you become difficult to deal with. I'm telling you, people will bend to your will a lot more when you're more aggressive, controlled, not exploitative. Just aggression that I'm talking about is not exploiting people. Aggression that I'm talking about is knowing what you want and not compromising even with pressure. And that's why people test you. People don't want a weak partner. People want a strong partner so that when they have their kids with them, they know that they've tested them and I'm telling you, you must just test people. Don't resent people testing you. You just got to pass the test. And if you fail the test with one partner, learn what you um, learn from your mistakes and use that aggressive energy to fix that mistake onto the next one. And you just start building and building. I'm an example of that. Look at my channel, people. Like, and even look at me, right? I've gotten to where I am today because of feedback and just pure aggressive energy. Like to the point where I go to 10 day retreats to, to kill one little habit that I have. I'll do another 10 day retreat to improve this one habit or to reduce that negative habit. That's aggressive energy. That's saying I am willing to go to the end of the earth to fix this. I am willing to go to the end of the earth to stop getting disrespected. I am willing to go to the end of the earth to get my, the type of partner that I want. And you do that through improving yourself. But if you're always self-loathing, crying, you're never going to work out. You're never going to improve your career because you're just going to feel lazy. You're just going to feel defeated. Turn that aggressive energy inward. 
stop crying and stop feeling like, feeling like a failure and get up look at yourself in the mirror and say that's enough no more bullshit no more letting people take advantage of me i'm turning things around i'm this ship is turning around whether as long as you go to as long as you don't go to prison all right all right anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um and this video was an inspiration for my upcoming course um the feminine woman and for men honestly i'm making a video for a course for men after this one it's gonna it's gonna be called the masculine man um and yeah man I, this is honestly one of my favorite chapters and it makes so much sense because everything about us is aggressive or not aggressive right when you're when you're not moving you're not aggressive when you're moving you're using aggressive energy because it's literally the dopaminergic system dopamine is not just about achieving goals dopamine also allows you mo to physically move <laughs> right and yeah there's just so much into that that i just can't go any further anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, go to myfattraction.org and i'll see you guys later take care all right guys so i want you guys to check out my online course called dark game that's right people dark game and this course is pretty much i review to you the secret tactics the secret techniques to create attraction in almost any woman right but not just attraction attraction to the point that makes her want to see you all the time where she's the one initiating all the contact right now now just imagine to be able to keep all of the girls in your life that that you lost because of you because of your stupidity imagine and i had stupidity too imagine being able to keep them imagine being able to have five six women available to you wanting to see you Imagine being able to create intense relationships where they're all doing all the work. People, that kind of stuff does exist, people. Now, I'm not going to promise you to, that you're going to ban like 40, 50 women. I'm going to promise you that you're going to be able to keep the women you have, that you, you, that you get with. I can promise you that, that they're keeping them will increase with this course. But let me keep showing you something. This course is pretty huge, people. It's a huge course. This course has over 50 videos, 50 videos, right? And some of them you can get for free. If you, if you just sign up, you, you get free videos, right? But in, in these videos, let me show you guys the, the, the course, right? All right, oh, guys. Shit. <laughs> That's me right there, right? In this video, I pretty much teach you guys how to find your purpose right all this is how to find your purpose discovering your purpose right i teach you guys then about female psychology all of the principles about female psychology you guys need to understand i then teach you guys the mindset the the the, the, the proper mindset that you need that you guys need to deal with women after that i teach you guys 21 videos on how to game i mean pretty this is just it's pretty much unbelievable man i, I got a <laughs> make this available right but it's unbelievable how many i pretty much put everything out of game social circuit game strategies threesomes foursomes everything right and on top of that i give you guys a a, um, a few bonuses how to overcome approach anxiety why you can't take actions a dickens pattern to change your mentality how to go from open to transitions right 81 minute long people this is like if, i don't know how long this is but this is hours hours and i mean hours worth of content and you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. I mean, you, you without questions asked. All for $99, people. People, this is originally, this could be this could be around a, a few thousands, to be honest with you, right? But you guys get it for $99, right? All you got to do is just go over here, purchase the course, you know, and you'll get access to it. And if you don't like it, you could just message me and get, and get your money back, people. Look, man, this is, don't be hard-headed, people. Don't be hard-headed. If you, this is the course that you guys need, right? It gives you guys everything. I cover everything. I could promise you, man, this is, you're not gonna get a more in-depth course on how to attract women and keep them more than this, all right? Anyways, people, check it out. 30 day my money back guarantee, there is no risk. And you can get the free course. You can get the free trial. The free trial are these videos that you get for free, right? You guys can just sign up. You can watch all of these videos for free, right? And there's no, and you don't have to pay, all right? Anyways, I'll see you guys inside. I run, I want to see you guys inside because again, people, this, you, you can't lose nothing. There's a 30 day money back.